Hey, hey, hey everybody, Pit Mick here from the CoinOps Discord server and uh, this video is just going to show you uh, how to add the uh, joyst uh, do official DOS joystick uh, pack, one player pack, to uh, Retro Arcade. Just simply port it over. Dead easy. Uh, you will need the new artwork, link is in the description, but I just wanted to show it to you. So I'll just go back to the beginning of it, of this collection's new artwork. And uh, you can see there we've got using the box art as inspiration to do that. So I'll just whiz through these uh, 50 odd games. So you can see for yourself. I like that one. So uh, Camageddon class. Right. So uh, lots of new covers, as you can see, because originally the pack didn't come with the covers. We've made them predominantly using uh, original DOS box artwork or as close as we could find. And um, occasionally we've had to use something really themed or related to the game in order to do it. Uh, but I think it looks really nice. And uh, if you want it, then the link to the artwork is in the description. But you need to be shown how to add it uh, carefully. As well as adding the uh, next to official pack for DOS joystick uh, one player. Uh, because this is the one player section. So uh, these are the covers. I'll just quickly get through the rest and then I'll show you, I'll tell you what you've got to do. So you can see they all look really nice. And then we're back to the beginning. And uh, the theme, the, the, that's the wheel theme. The wall theme is just what you can see on the left with the DOS type monitor by GJSM Smith with the Gravis PC gamepad. And it will scroll left to right or right to left with that game logo in the bottom right of the of the monitor. So it's this is the wheel theme. We wanted to show this because this is the artwork for the covers. Um, the, um, the wall theme doesn't need covers because it doesn't use them. So how do you... I'll tell you what, I'm here now. I might as well... Uh, I might as well... Uh, show you the wheel theme very briefly well here so you can see it for yourself uh let's show you the wheel theme for dos one player dos one the it's the dos the dos dos uh dos official uh one player next two pack uh that you add and i'll tell you what to do in a moment so let me just show you the this is the wheel theme so let's go to joystick games so you can see here it's the same and there we go so i think you get the idea uh, I'm not going to go into too much uh, detail on this. So, there we go. So, I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to describe to you what you need to do. And the first thing you need to do is simply get the um, official next to uh, DOS one player pack from the official source. Please do not get anything from Arcade Punks. That is not the official source and never has been and is never going to be. Um, and I've put Exodus here. It should be just joystick. So, joystick one player official pack all right so you can read that while i'm typing anyway so i think it's dos official one player i'll have to check the name the exact name of it is in here isn't it collections so we go to dos oh dos joystick official there we go Right, so what you want to do is you want to add the official joystick one play official pack for next two to the root of your retro arcade. Okay, uh, bear with me, I'll just move that over. And um, when you've done that, you then download and unzip the artwork to the root of retro arcade. The link to the official artwork for this DOS pack one player official pack is in the link, link in the description of this video, video description. And again, just let it overwrite anything if it asks you to. It shouldn't do, but if it does, that's fine. It's official stuff. Um, and then once you've unzipped the, the new artwork to the root of Retro Arcade, you simply go to the menu.txt file and add the name of the collection to it. Now, I think it's just joystick official, not one player. Uh, just in, um, in CoinOps, it's just known as joystick, DOS joystick official um but the separate one player and two player pack so you this is for the one player uh pack so add the dos joystick one player i'll put one pay, player again official pack and then you just add dos joystick official to the uh menu text so we're going to collections um and i go to uh, all arcade console menu text and you can see here i've added dos joystick official that brings up the one player games and if you download the dos joystick two player pack you do the same process, but this time you just, as well as the joystick official, you also write DOS joystick two player official. So if you get the two player pack, not just the one player pack, 
um, you can do the same method and just add just DOS joystick to player official to the menu text and that particular game set will will show up in retro arcade as well so i'm not going to do a video for the two player official uh, i'm just going to do a video for joystick official but i'm just letting you know if you get the two player official pack for next two dos joystick two player official and then uh unzip that into the root of retro arcade and then add the new outlet for joy joystick two player official i'll put the link for the joystick uh, both joystick and two player joystick below then um, you just add on two player official as well in your menu text and they'll both those sets will show up and that's it guys once that's done you save it final menu save and those uh, games and collections will show up and they will play like they did in next two except retro arcade is faster and uh, got more features and much better artwork with the covers so there you go I hope you enjoy it. Please, if you've not already subscribed, make sure you do so that you know when new things are being developed and are available to be shown and showing you how to do things. There's about 100 videos at the moment to do with coin ups and various builds. And I know some of the videos, a lot of them are for older builds because we've just recently got onto Retro Arcade. But the principles of doing those things that are shown in those older videos are largely the same. So you can learn a lot of how to do things in Next 2 and um, other uh, diamonds and, and um, other builds of coin ups that can actually still apply to um retro arcade although the folder structure is different but i've made it as easy as possible so you just need to put the pack in uh, unzip it to the root of retro arcade you unzip the new artwork into the root of retro arcade and just edit the menu.txt file that i showed you there and put in the name of the collections in and the games will show up and you should be able to play them as they did okay guys i hope you like it make sure you subscribe click the notification bell make sure you click all and i'll see you on the next one all the best guys all the best